Hi, I'm Chris and this is the Everyman's Auto Video Car Diary. Now the car we brought, got for you today is the 2013 Volvo C30 R Design Polestar. Uh, it's a mouthful again. The most important word in that is Polestar. The Polestar is a package that when you apply it to the C30 R Design, you go from 227 horsepower up to about 250 horsepower. And you can feel it very quickly. You get 250 horsepower, your torque numbers go up. The, the, the five cylinder turbo motor is already pretty torquey. Adding the Polestar in just makes it that much torqueier and, and that much quicker off the line. It is a blast. It's attached to a six speed automated manual and it, and it moves quick. The car is not very heavy, so the 250 horsepower attached to a fairly light vehicle means that you're in and out of things all over the place. You're zipping, you're around corners. The, the one thing I love about this car is when I am cornering, if I think I can pull it tighter, I try, and this car responds. It, it will tighten up the steering. There's great steering feel in this car. Uh, I was never really worried about, ooh, there's that, that, sometimes you end up with that floaty feeling when you're, when you're driving a little fast and, and you're not re quite sure if the wheels are understanding your inputs. I didn't have that problem with this car. The, the Volvo did a good job of that. Um, your miles per gallon in this car, they say they're 21 city, 30 highway. If you buy this car and achieve 30 on the highway, you're doing something wrong. This car is made to be driven hard. It is fun. You should not be getting 30 miles to the gallon in this car. You should be getting something down lower. I got 22.3 today, but that's combined city and a little bit of highway, and I was thrashing the car to death. If I'd have had a whip, I'd have used it. This car was fun. It was a lot of fun. One interesting thing about the car, the traction control, when it's on, uh, I spun the tires away from every light or every stop that I, that I was at today uh, and they would spin a couple three times maybe and then the traction control would really kick in and be like hey you're an idiot calm down put it here um, and then if you turn the traction control off you can just spin the wheels whenever you want and and it's literally just from park to drive mat the accelerator the wheels will spin um, I took a couple of quick videos to show you the difference watch those now See, traction control on, a little bit of spin, not that much. Traction control off, spinning the whole way. Um, the other thing that I want to say about this car is expensive. It's $37,000. Um, you're going up against GTIs and um, Ford Focus STs. The GTI is going to get a little closer to the, the C30, while that Ford, Ford Focus ST is lower 30s. Um, if you get a base uh, Focus ST, it's like oh, it's only like 24 grand. Um, for the amount of fun you're talking about for money, the Focus ST is the best deal. But this Volvo's really nice. I really like the, the interior. It's very subtle. It's simple. The buttons aren't tiny, but at the same time, they're usable. Um, they're some of them look like they're designed to have like massive gloves on. You can open the unlock lock button. Uh, it's got that floating console in the middle, which I always kind of like, where you can kind of like stick your hand behind all the the climate control. That, that's really all I got. Um, I really like this car today. If you're definitely in and around town, go see uh, Hendrick Volvo. Um, they would love to, to, to put you in a C30, and I would love you to drive one because it really was a lot of fun. If the Polestar is still there, be really nice to those people. Talk them into letting you drive it. They, they, they're pretty protective of it. They like that car a lot, um, and I do too, and it's definitely worth the money. It's a lot of money, but it was a lot of fun. So... That's it for, for this episode. Uh, tune in again. Hopefully we'll get some more of these going and up. And uh, as the summer goes on, hopefully we'll, uh, I'll get to drive some more things that are more fun. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good night. I just waved at a police officer. He nodded and smiled. Hopefully I don't get arrested. Jeff, I'm glad I'm doing this without you, so that way you don't get arrested too.